It's tethered with a battery pack. The battery pack allows us to activate the camera. It does all of the audio and video recording. It is stored inside here internally. It cannot be manipulated, turned off, changed in any way. Keep your hands to your hand. What do you? And once that's done, for the end of the shift, you plug it in. It automatically links up. It will read the device. It will download the device. It will encrypt the information that came in so it's secured. Then it goes back to green, meaning these are ready to, ready to be deployed. This is video taken from two body cameras last September when they told a beach police officers knocked down a door and saw a man armed with a knife threatening a woman. Moments later, <laughs> officers fired several shots, an action they say saved the woman's life. But that's not the end of the story. I arrive on the scene 15 minutes later, there's at least 100 residents out screaming at me as I get out of my car that my officers gunned down a guy laying in bed. The video Chief Mike Chitwood says helped ease tensions because it showed what really happened. And what could have been a really bad thing in the community, people start to look and say, oh, I understand what happened now. That's not what I was told. The savings that we will have will easily outweigh the cost of the equipment. I think you really have to ask yourself, as a police chief, can you afford not to do something like this? The, this is the future of law enforcement.